Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Cards. Today I have a video response for Scott over at Reindeer Studios and his 1,039 subscriber giveaway. So as you can tell by the title of the contest is that Scott just passed the mythical threshold of 1,000 subscribers. So he wants to see a lineup of our most favorite art cards. So we're gonna go through and take a look at those. Um, to manage our team, Scott himself on this awesome custom T206 is gonna be our manager. So he will be um, pulling all the strings and making it all happen um, there in the dugout. So we're gonna lead off with, you know, the best leadoff hitter of all time. We got Ricky Henderson on this 1990 scorecard. Um, always like these ones, kind of a cool portrait. You know, really just a uh, simple design. You know, if you uh, cut his uh, career in half, you'd have two Hall of Famers. So next up, we have Wade Boggs on this 84 Donruss Diamond King. Um, autographed, as you can see as well. So uh, love me some Diamond Kings. Um, I really love just this 84 design. Um, kind of has the, the nice uh, kind of red, white, and blue motif. So he's going to be our, our number two hitter. Um, number three, gotta go with none other than Ken Griffey Jr. on this 1989 Score Masters um, card. And this was actually my first uh, PSA graded card. Yeah, I really like this one. Uh, you know, got the, the old school Mariners logo there, um, hitting the ball out there. And for a bonus entry, I'm gonna include this um, Salem mini pennant. Um, just love these, uh, love these ones. And the art as depicted with the large heads on those ones super legit so number three hitter we have ken griffey jr and batting cleanup we have henry hank aaron on this 1991 upper deck baseball legends checklist um i just always love these checklists uh vernon wells senior um love the like love the typography there at the top the three different uniforms you know playing in atlanta and in milwaukee um, so that's a really cool one there so he's gonna be batting cleanup and hitting in the five hole, we have our catcher, Mr. Johnny Bench, on this 1983 Donruss Diamond King. Um, obviously an all-time great catcher. Um, also really love, too, this, uh, the reflection of the sea on the hat um, by Mr. Dick Perez. So nice work on that one. Next up, hitting sixth, is the best designated hitter of all time, Edgar Martinez, on this 1992 Upper Deck Checklist. And uh, love this one just with a uh, picture of the kingdom in the background. Because, you know, obviously, uh, probably one of the worst multi-purpose stadiums ever. But uh, had lots of great memories, especially from 1995. So this pre predated that. Um, but Edgar's uh, looking to, to hit another double right there. So that's a nice one. So he's batting six. Next up, our first baseman hitting seventh. The one and only Will Clark on this 1988 Donruss Diamond Kings. Um, gotta love these crazy green lines on here. Uh, just does so well with the, the blue and black and red on the border. Um, uh, just uh, uh, classic Will Clark card there. And batting eighth, we have our second baseman, Ryan Sandberg, on this 1992 score all-star card. Love the big head cards. Just think they're just a, such a cool concept. Uh, you know, they have these in 91, 92. Um, always love getting these out of a pack. And uh, this reminds me of a story that Scott told on one of his live streams about um, his start as an artist was at SeaWorld, Ohio as a caricature artist. So uh, you may not have known that. So uh, pretty awesome to be able to, to have that. And then our last batting ninth, and uh, this is a really special one because this is one that Scott created himself. And this is my 1989 Topps Ozzy Smith slash Andres Thomas um, doodle that my brother Doug from Don't Talk to Robots got me for my birthday and they gave to me at the National. Um, I will put a link up here if you want to check out that video and see my reaction. Uh, this is one of my most prized possessions. Just so cool. All the awesome uh, details, you know, with, with Ozzy in the powder blues, with uh, Andres Thomas sliding in there um, on the 89 tops. I mean, just, just checking all of the boxes. So um, the super cool part was uh, I got Ozzy Smith's autograph actually on a, a card. Unfortunately, Ozzy doesn't sign artwork. Hopefully he'll change that at some point in the future and I can get this signed. Um, but uh, I, I had a chance when I when I got my autograph from Ozzy to show him uh, 
Scott's artwork. And so take a look at that here. Can I show you this real quick? Yes. My friend drew it for me for my birthday. Well, he made this for you? Yeah. Well, he's pretty good. Yeah. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of 89 tops. So he, uh, His friend drew this. Oh, cool. He's good. He's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. He's good. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So yeah, so that was super cool to be able to show that to Ozzy. And then it was fun to be able to show uh, Ozzy's reaction to Scott. And so it was all kinds of all kinds of layers upon layers upon layers. But um, yeah, so that, that was super cool. And uh, Ozzy was super impressed. And as was I, and as um, many of you have been uh, taking a look at this one. So anyways, there we go. So that is our nine. So like any good Flying Dutchman card video, um, we're not going to stop there. We got our, our lineup of nine. But we need a pitcher. And if we need one pitcher, we need, you know, obviously need a whole rotation. If we have a rotation, we need a bullpen to back them up. You know, if we need some pitch hitters, we're playing in uh, an NL park, we're going to need a bench. So we're going to keep going here. And uh, I got a few more art cards to show off. So in our rotation, we're leading off our starting, our, our ace is going to be Nolan Ryan on this 1991 Legend Series. Uh, this is one my dad actually pulled out of a wax pack. Um, and you can see here numbered out of 7,500, which is absolutely preposterous these days, but um, was super rare back in the day. So um, this is one of our family's prized possessions. Um, and so, yeah, really always loved this card. So wanted to get that one included. So he's going to be our ace of our staff. So next up, we have our number two pitcher in a young Randy Johnson on this 2003 Topps Gallery Heritage card representation of his 1989 Topps rookie card. Uh, Got to include Randy in there. Our third pitcher is going to be Doug Drabeck on this 92 Upper Deck Checklist card. Drabeck was was money back there in the, the early 90s for the Pirates. Um, so I uh, wanted to include him there. And next up, we have Frank Viola on this 89 Donruss Diamond Kings. Um, this was my first uh, year of collecting Donruss. And so these Diamond Kings always have a special place in my heart. I uh, just love the design, you know, love the gradients here on the background. Um, just a uh, super sweet looking card there. And then last but not least, uh, I ran out of, well, I didn't really run out, but I wanted to include somebody a little bit special here. He doesn't, unfortunately doesn't have any art cards, but the one and only Steve Searcy, uh, we'll call this art here at the top, the future star. So we had to include Steve Searcy in here. So he's going to be our number five starter. Um, we'll see what he can do for our team. So Let's jump over to the bullpen and finish out the rest of our pitching staff. So we're going to start off with Clarence Marshall here. And you may wonder, why do you have Clarence Marshall? And what in the world does he have to do with anything um, here on this 1952 Tops? Uh, first up, this is my oldest card that I own in my collection, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then the second one is that Scott actually got this for me at the National. So that was pretty cool. But then you're like, that still doesn't make any sense. Why do you have this card in your collection? Well, we're going to flip it over here and I will show you why. Um, Clarence Marshall was the first person ever born in Bellingham, Washington, my hometown, to play in the major leagues. So pretty sweet to pick his card up. Um, and the best part too, his nickname was Cuddles because um, they, they thought uh, he looked like a teddy bear or something like that. So um, pretty sweet to be able to pick that up and to have the connection for Scott. I've been looking for this one um, when I was in the National and Scott popped in and said, hey, I got this for you. And it was super awesome. So uh, I'm going to start another super collection for him. He only has five cards, but they're going to be hard to track down. So next up, we have Bobby Shantz here on the 1958 Tops, And so awesome TFMer and just love this old school art card. Um, yeah, I just love that they, that, you know, when you think about these, you, you know, you just look at, this, oh, it's a vintage card, but, you know, these were all painted and uh, really cool to be able to include him in our bullpen. Next up, we got another 1984 Donner's Diamond King with Dave Dravecki. Read his book growing up, um, just a uh, super inspirational story, um, just, you know, overcoming the loss of his arm uh, through cancer and, and breaking it, all these different crazy stories. So if you haven't looked up Dave Dravecki's story, I'd encourage you to do that. So uh, he's going to be another lefty out of the pen. 
And then we got another TTM Hall of Famer in Bryn Smith. Uh, love me the Expos and uh, their powder blues there. So wanted to include Bryn Smith in on the fun. And then our closer is going to be none other than Goose Gossage. So I've um, got him here on the 86 Donruss Diamond King um, with the Fu Manchu. Just so classic uh, there for the Padres. So there we go. So that is our pitching staff. So now let's jump over to our bench. Um, so we're going to start off with the 1989 tops and i know scott one of your favorite players Corey snyder on the diamond king uh so yeah obviously uh a lot lots of players on this team are rocking mustaches and uh cory is going to be one of those as well so all those awesome like late 80s early 90s backgrounds can't get enough of that uh another ttm hall of famer in ron gant on this 91 upper deck checklist card uh looks like he's coming out of a door somewhere i don't know you know some uh, another realm and he's uh, sprinting uh, trying to steal a base there and then we got Steve Garvey here on the 82 Donruss Diamond King um, just love this card so clean his autograph looks awesome and uh, yeah I just love you know the, the the backgrounds I mean Dick Perez you you know amazing portrait but you know whatever backgrounds you pick here they just fit so well uh, next up we have Nick Solak he's going to be our utility infielder outfielder he's going to play all over um, on this awesome uh, Alan and Ginter debut to remember card. So cool design there. Next up, we have the one and only Andres Thomas. He's going to be our backup shortstop to Ozzy um, on this 1988 starting lineup talking baseball card, which I thought was pretty awesome. So this is his only one and only uh, art card. You may be surprised, but there we go. So we got Andres Thomas in on the lineup. And then last but not least, had to, you know, uh, bend the rules a little bit. We we got we snuck Roger Repos in there as well, you know, with with Steve CRC. Um, got to got to get all the the uh, super collections in there. So you got him here on the, the seventy one tops, and so um, he is going to be another utility outfielder for our team. So, and then last but not least, Scott wanted us to let him know who our favorite sports artist was, uh, but it couldn't be Scott. So I had to of course choose the one and only Dick Perez. Um, if it's not going to be Scott, then it's going to be Dick Perez. Uh, just love uh, the Diamond Kings. Shout out to Dick Perez there. So I put together this, you know, roster of 25 players. And so I thought, you know what? I'm going to put them to the test. So what I did was I went on What If Sports. And they have a website where you can build your own team. And then you can play against other teams. So I put my art card lineup team together. Um, and then I thought that I would line them up against um, one of Scott's favorite teams of all time. Um, and that is the 1995 Cleveland Indians. And um, I picked them specifically because there's a certain player, um, you may know him as Alvaro Espinoza was on the roster. So we are gonna pit uh, my art car team against the 95 Cleveland team and in a seven game series and see who's gonna win. So check it out. So here we go with game one at Jacobs Field and it looks like Flying Dutchman Cards comes out on top 16 to one. Um, just wanna get off on a good start there. Nolan ripping it up. Charles Nagy got definitely roughed up and our player of the game, Hank Aaron drove in five. Game two features Andres Thomas and Alvaro Espinosa. They're gonna play in the even games and Cleveland came back ties up the series it is 1-1 and Dennis Martinez pitched a stellar game and uh, Manny Ramirez is our player of the game so going into game three at our home field here and get back on the board 8-3 and uh, we are up now 2-1 in the series Oral uh, can't can't cut it um, and it looks like Doug Drabeck had a nice game Johnny Bench two home runs very nice so game four, Andres Thomas and Alvaro back in there. And what do we got? We have another Flying Dutchman cards of victory. So Mark Clark, um, not making it happen. Frank Viola, Goose Gossage, and Hank Aaron, again, driving in five runs. We're up 3-1. Can Scott make a comeback? Game five, he does. 21-2. to two. Uh, Love what if sports. Gotta love uh, crazy scores like that. And uh, just totally got roughed up there. 
Uh, Steve Searcy took the brunt of that, seven runs in not even an inning. Didn't even get any outs. Uh, so game six, 3-2. What's it going to be? And yes, Flying Dutchman Cards pulls it out. 12 nothing shutout on the strength of Nolan Ryan. And uh, yeah, so good good series, Scott. Uh, Johnny Bunch drives in, for, in five runs. Co-MVPs, we have Johnny Bench and Hank Aaron. So that's going to wrap things up. Post in the comments what was your favorite card from today. Also, check out the links to these videos if you want to see some more. And uh, go check out Scott. Tell him congrats on a thousand. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.